Okay, I need a, uh, I need another name that sounds like real name, but is not. Eben. Wait! I forgot to adjust daytime, but I got the 1%. I was in the right daytime, and I got the 1% giraffe egg. I was about to say, I, re I really, really like the day-night morning selection for encounters in this game. I think it's really cool. It's like very roguelike-y, right? With the three choices. The expected result. This seems okay. Female again, so bad attack again, but... Yeah, considering how little Pokemon there are to work with in this game, the encounters are done so well. Alright, so now we fish... we may be fish in harbor, but... Depending on the routing of the other water routes, we maybe don't want to do that. Because if we get tentacle somewhere else, we can guarantee Lantern from Harbor. Okay. Can this explode? Nope. Okay. Can Sludge Bomb, though. I should switch out. Honestly, my team is not built to deal with this. Hold on. <laughs> so I go to Route 40, I go here, and then I press Calc. Holy sh... That is wild. You're a god. This is really bad. I should be able to nightshade here, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Noctal could die here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, this is really awkward. I actually don't have anything I can safely switch to. I guess Apom is like, okay. Come on. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I forgot which way to go. It's not this way. Having Quillfish is so nice. I feel like I've never seen this back sprite before. <laughs> it looks great. God, I love Quillfish so much, actually. I feel like over the last couple of years, he's snuck into like my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Somehow. I don't like the Hisuian variant. Dude, Quillfish always delivers in Nuzlocke. By the way, this is like not a very consistent answer, I think. He's gonna stack up pretty quickly here. I don't think I'm guaranteed a 3 KO after leftovers. This is a little bit spooky. Yeah, so this is real bad. Um, I think this is rollout five, right? Yeah, I think something dies here. Or do I just have to double the rolls five times, four times? Well, I swapped in 
And then use three double edges, so it's about to do its fifth rollout. Fortress does not tank this, bro. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. I thought Don- I don't know. I just didn't see that Donphan was dealing so little damage. To be fair, I didn't have a lot of options. Neo King would have died a turn earlier than this. So Kingler sack, I think, probably. My water options are only gonna get better from here. But like, I also don't have a Polyrath anymore. So this is my only water type submission user now. Could I have just used Kingler versus this? But I- dude, f*** me. Kingler two shots this. Oh, I was just not paying attention going through the calc. I thought I had it for free. I do have Jolteon. Jolteon will just be better Raichu every single time after this split. Well, starting this split, actually. Yeah, I'll suck Raichu. Guys, Dawnfin is really good. <laughs> That's a super unnecessary death, but... Whatever. My Manton answers don't look great now, but... That's probably still fine. Like, there's probably a few fights here in this exact upcoming route where Raichu would have been really good. Because right now it has Thunderbolt. And Jolteon only gets Thunderbolt at 44, which is the level cap, right? Um, but it's it's whatever. We, we can figure it out. Whatever it would have countered, I probably could have used something else on. I could have killed with um, Quillfish there, but I don't want to. Because the Corsola I want to bait out next um, ideally doesn't Ancient Power. It's probably going to end up being just fine. So this is Waterfall and not Ancient Power now, so I don't have to worry about any boosts. It's actually like... We should do this more in ROM hacks, because Corsola is such a sh mon, but they become dangerous just because of Ancient Power. Um, we should have more mechanics like this, where, like, they're technically really easy to beat, but if you do it in the wrong way, you might get, fu you might get, like, super punished, right? So you have to, like, think at least a little bit about it. This is always Ice Beam. I can actually just Stain and Poison Powder this. Um, because I've never did Ice Beam crit. Might as well. It just makes you think about positioning a little bit more. I guess I'll body slam as well. Okay, I think now I can die to toxic damage plus um, ice beam crit. I think it's just Kingler. Sorry, Raichu. Aw, oh, dude, there was such an easy way to beat the stun sparse. So I just wasn't, like, paying attention. I saw, like, the only rollout on it, and it was like, okay, this has to be a meme, right? And it just didn't look at, like, what damage Donphan was doing. Oh, 
Um, highest waterfall crit is 73, but he's probably going to Toxic anyway. Yeah? Okay. Cool, yeah. All right, waiting for a water storm for Stormy Evo. No, you. It doesn't really get anything good for a really long time, um, and you can teach Stormy the waterfall HM, but not Star you. Uh, Star you the waterfall HM, but not Star me. And waterfall and Surf have swapped base powers in this game, so waterfall's the better one. I th yeah, I think the Jolteon thing is completely fine. Scrolling through the trainers, I think there's genuinely just like three more. But we'll see. How do you track your party members for the stream? I don't know what that means. Holy shit, I'm gonna watch the stream live after a year of watching your content and banger tweets. So, well, my friend, I'm not gonna be live for very much longer. I'm sorry to inform you. <laughs> We're closing in on hour 10 of this stream, boys. Oh, the Sprite on the Batcho. There's a Lewis script that you can load into the emulator that automatically renames PNGs. On your computer. Um, okay. Am I dead to crit right now? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Kingler outspeeds. Let's do it. It's been your furthest attempt. Um... After I beat these two trainers, I have to beat two more, and then this is my furthest attempt. Do you think XP management is one of the most difficult pieces of Nuzlocke? Not really. It's kind of whatever. Run and Bun just doesn't have XP management, and I feel like it, sometimes I feel like it's like better for it. <laughs> I think it's interesting in concept, but do you film anything in Japan? No, but I have nothing interesting to film, dude. I play video games. I can play those anywhere. Oh, it's super matters in garbage green. Yeah, the main thing is like it stops mattering after like badge four. Because your Pokemon just gets so little XP relatively. I think if the game is designed well and like move sets are designed well and stuff like that, it can be really interesting. God, Fortress is so fing nice to have. And Gauntlet's late, late game experience is still a thing. Yeah, it might be. We can see it. You didn't film anything in the World Championship in Japan? What What is there to film for me? <laughs> you guys watch my content. You know what I do.
Um, it's just Jolteon here, right? Yeah. I think there's probably a pivot I can do here to split this XP off. Let's think about it a little bit. Like, if I go slow, bro... I should be able to force Thunderbolt on the switch back, right? I have Lumbarium. I don't see why not. It saves me like 800 XP. This takes poison damage, by the way. If this crits the waterfall... Even if it doesn't crit the waterfall, this might actually not be Thunderbolt range. Oh, this could also be Psychic, right? I think. There's like one overlapping range. Oh, it's raining so much. It's so comfy. Holy sh- So I could do... I think I can safely do Meganium. Uh, well, like, he needs, like, double crit to f really f up my day. It's not worth it. Let's just kill it. Holy sh... It is raining so much. Oh right, you get an encounter here, huh? I kind of forgore about that, so... Excuse me. Uh, I'm just gonna do this fight now, because... It, I already planned for it, and it's not like... I'm severely... Okay, let's think about it. I can get Lantern... Or Mantine. Neither of these help with this fight. Cool. Okay, let's go. Lantern does also mean I can get Tenta, which I think also doesn't help with this fight. Anyway. I think it's to the Sand Slash I died last time? I don't remember. I feel like the Sand Slash wiped me. You can link it in chat if you want to, Vet, no vet Novice. Novice? Nice forehead. Cool. What are your thoughts on Recon support? It's just really hard. <laughs> it's just a really hard champ to play. I think Rakan at like the highest level is like probably one of the top three hardest supports to play, you know. Fantastic start. This is the shakiest part of this fight, and I'm getting fed on it. But you know what? Well, Come right back, chat. Oh wait, I can just can I go Apom here actually? Kinda, yeah. I 
I guess I went berry juice. Which triggers after getting poisoned. But it wouldn't. Yeah, okay. I can do this. Hold on. There's some crit ranges that kill Slowbro here, so. Oh, this has focus band actually. F I mean, what else was I supposed to do? I only died to focus band crit right now, so. F it. Okay. Dude, this game is so goddamn scary with its fing focus bands, man. <laughs> it is so terrifying. Have you seen Jasmine's team? I don't want to see it. Do not want to see it. Wait, that's really cute fan art. Thank you. <laughs> I love the way you captured my scruffy hair. It's <laughs> much more flattering than it is in real life. Um, what was my plan here? Oh yeah, it was Kingsland, and to not get earthquake quick lot crit uh, to to not get quick lot crit. He can uh, crit here too, so. Don't do it, man! Come on! <laughs> Play nice! <sighs> okay. We're rolling today. We're really rolling today. That's PB, boys. This is my furthest CK plus attempt. Alright. Um. So this is random move. But it shouldn't matter. Unless he gets some crazy high rolls. That would be an example of such a high roll. So now we're dead to quick claw crit. Um, I don't think I can play around it. Yeah, no shot. I guess like... Slowbro kind of Omega walls this, huh? But I'm already at 61 HP. How does Fortress do here? Really terribly. Okay. I, I just gotta roll it. If I lose this, this is really bad. Oh, dude. It's so spooky! That was two quick claws this fight. It's so spooky, man! I f***ing misclicked. <laughs> it's fine, I can use Fortress. I'm in crit range now. And if, this is where I roll 8, huh? That's all good. I would've had to switch anyway. You know, highest double edge crit kills me right now. Um, This is pretty safe, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Parasite also got a quick claw proc, you're right. Does this kill? I think so. Nice. Ah. My god. 
My god. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Okay. That means we get tentacle as well. Um, this should have nothing for... Yeah, yeah, okay. Spark bubble beam thunder wave confuser, yeah. I mean, Box is looking a lot more alive right now. We started the stream with Kingler being like our only proper water type. Five balls before Tenta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna run out of great balls here. Think of some names, by the way. The nickname theme is names that sound real but are not. Lantern's pretty good, yeah. Great counter to other water types. One of the best ones. There we go. Lorne? I'm pretty sure that's a real name. Lanala. First try. Again, think of some names, boys. Be careful of Tenta HP. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what is the counterplay? Solid, bad speed, but solid. Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, baby. How solved is this game? It's probably the most solved, like Kaizo Nuzlocke game, just because we have all these like stats. Um, but like it's, I don't know. It has like really good encounter variety, despite the fact that it only has Gen One and Two Pokemon, and like it has really, really, really interesting boss fights and stuff. Um, like you can't really. I feel like it's not really the kind of game where you like reset for the perfect encounters because the encounters are pretty well balanced and stuff. I think you can like, the nice thing about having this calculator and stuff is like anyone can pick this game up and like start playing it. It's very accessible. Without being like samey. The encounter routing is like really interesting and stuff. I'm dead to the highest roll crit. I feel like I don't- there's no need to play into it. Um... I didn't actually bother to equip any items, huh? <laughs> Oops. Heracross has, like, not been getting used, by the way, like, at all, but it, I think it's supposed to, like, scale into the late game, right? It's my best move headbutt, yeah. Okay. Hmm, what's the option now, actually? I should have just attacked with Stantler, man. There was one crit roll that killed, like... I think I kind of gotta hope I don't get Thunderbolt on this switch. But even if I don't, I really need to stay in with Stantler, actually. What a dumb mistake. Okay. So I think we go Shuckle here. Yeah. No Waterfall here would be nice, but not super necessary. Okay. Cool. 
Tentacruel Aurora Beam is 40 to 48, so... No need to string shot anything either. Gotta switch now. We'll take some sand damage with Tentacruel, but I don't think it matters. Because we're switching in on Waterfall anyway, and Aurora Beam's gonna kill from here. I don't know why people always ask me for, like, the ROM that enforces the Nuzlocke rules, because, like... Don't you... What? Can you just do that on your own? <laughs> I don't... I guess, like, this is something I don't think about a lot. I think when people Nuzlocke for themselves... When they don't like stream it or anything, I think they cheat like motherfuckers. <laughs> so hard not to, yeah. I mean, I know this because that's what that's what I that is part of the reason I started f***ing streaming, <laughs> like. Okay, I'm dead to... I think this is the last Sandstorm turn, right? So I think I'm not actually dead to crit. Sandstorm's gonna subside next turn. Yeah, because it was Sandstorm, Wrap, Switch, Aurora Beam. That was like, it's like hardcore ARPGs. If you play with like Calyx and sh and docs like me, I've always said like Nuzlocke are just the, they're a roguelike puzzle game. Eighty one on the max crit roll here. I am not sure that this is gonna kill. Sandstorm did twelve point five to this. Um No, I think our ore beam guaranteed kills. It does thirty nine minimum. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's just switch. To what? To, to Slowbro. Slowbro dies to non crit and to crit. Fortress is safe, I think. I think there's like. Yeah, yeah, Fortress is always safe. Okay, let's just do that. Max roll into max roll crit kills, actually. Alright, we're safe. That's one off max roll. Should have stayed in. I'm pretty sure it was guaranteed to kill with Aurora Beam. I need three hit. I, th I, I guess I just go Stantler, right? If I lose Stantler here, it's my fault. I just accept the responsibility. I had, I think I had a safe kill with um, Tentacruel. Okay, I just never get punished though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you mean Blue Ka Kaizo Safari Zone isn't good game design? Hey, I like the Blue Kaizo Safari Zone.